We dive deep into the world of rare coins that are worth some serious cash. In today's video, we're going to explore a very special penny that you could have sitting in your pocket right now, the 1992 D-Mint Mark Lincoln penny, which has shocked the market with its skyrocketing value. Imagine owning a penny that's now worth thousands of dollars. Intrigued? Let's get into it. Before we get into the jaw-dropping value of this coin, let's first talk about the basics of the 1992 D. Lincoln penny. This penny was minted in Denver, hence the D-Mint mark, and it was part of the standard production run that year. Over 4.6 billion of these coins were made. But what makes this coin so special, you ask? While most 1992 D pennies are worth only their face value, there is a rare error variety that collectors are scrambling to get their hands on. This rare variety is known as the close AM penny, and it's this little detail that makes it so valuable. Let's dig deeper into what sets this penny apart. Now, the key to identifying the valuable 1992 D Lincoln penny lies in its reverse side, specifically in the spacing between the letters A and M in the word America. On most pennies from 1992, there's a noticeable gap between the A and the M. But on the rare close AM error, the letters are almost touching. This error occurred because the mint mistakenly used a reverse die intended for pennies from 1993 on some 1992 coins. It's such a small, easy-to-miss detail, but this slight mistake could be the key to your financial jackpot. So, how much is this little mistake worth? Well, here's the part you've been waiting for. While a regular 1992D penny is worth just a penny, a 1992D close AM penny has sold for over $20,000 at auctions. Yes, you heard that right. A single penny that could be sitting in your change jar right now could fetch tens of thousands of dollars if it has the close AM error. Now, the value of these coins can vary depending on the condition. A well-preserved close AM penny in mint state could easily go for tens of thousands, while a more worn version could still be worth a few thousand dollars. Either way, it's a huge return on investment for a penny. Now that you know how valuable this coin can be, you're probably wondering how to check if you have one. First, grab your magnifying glass or a good zoom lens because you'll need to take a close look at the reverse side of your 1992D penny. Remember, what you're looking for is the spacing between the A and M in America. If the letters are touching or almost touching, congratulations, you might have a close AM penny. And don't forget to check for the D mint mark on the front, indicating it was minted in Denver. Now, you might be asking, why are collectors willing to pay so much for this error penny? Well, it's all about rarity and demand. The 1992D close AM pennies are incredibly scarce, with only a handful known to exist. Since the error was not widespread, the limited supply drives the price up. Collectors love unique coins like this one because they tell a story about the history and imperfections of coin production. And the 1992D close AM penny checks all the boxes, rarity, a unique error, and a fascinating backstory. Alright, let's say you found a 1992D close AM penny in your collection. What's next? How do you cash in on this rare find? First, you'll want to get the coin professionally graded by a reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC. A certified grade can significantly increase the value of your coin. Once you have your coin graded, you can list it at an auction house, online auction platforms like eBay, or coin-specific marketplaces. Keep in mind that top-quality close AM pennies often fetch the highest prices at specialized auctions. To wrap things up, the 1992D Lincoln penny is proof that big value can come in small packages. With a rare close AM error, this coin has become one of the most sought-after pennies by collectors. So, don't forget to check your pocket change because you might just have a $20,000 penny waiting to be discovered. We're diving into a coin that might be lying unnoticed in your collection or wallet, the 2005 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny that could be worth big bucks. Yes, you heard that right. In this video, we're going to uncover why this particular penny has caught the attention of collectors and why its market value could be way more than just one cent. You might be wondering, how can a seemingly common coin like this be worth so much? Well, it all comes down to a few key factors rarity, condition, errors, and demand. And we're going to break it all down for you, so by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to look for and why collectors are going crazy over it. First, let's go over some quick background on the 2005 Lincoln Penny. 
By 2005, the familiar Lincoln Memorial design had been in circulation for over 40 years. The U.S. Mint had been striking billions of these pennies every year, primarily in two locations, the Philadelphia Mint and the Denver Mint. The one struck in Denver bear a D mint mark, while those from Philadelphia typically have no mint mark. That's why when you find a 2005 penny without a mint mark, it's most likely from Philadelphia. But here's the twist, many 2005 pennies without a mint mark have become incredibly valuable due to rare errors and exceptional condition. Let's take a closer look at why this year stands out. So, what makes certain 2005 no mint mark pennies worth thousands of dollars? The answer lies in a few key areas. First, let's talk about errors. Error coins are coins that have been struck with mistakes during the minting process. For the 2005 no mint mark Lincoln penny, Collectors have reported finding rare double die errors, where the design appears to be slightly duplicated or misaligned. This kind of error can be found in areas like Lincoln's face or the text on the coin, and if you spot this on your 2005 penny, you could be sitting on a small fortune. One of the most well known errors is a double die in the obverse, the front of the coin, which can make the lettering or Lincoln's profile appear slightly doubled. These coins are highly sought after by collectors and can be worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars depending on the severity of the error. The next factor is condition. Even if your 2005 no mint mark penny doesn't have an error, its value can skyrocket if it's in mint state condition. Coin grading services like PCGS or NGC use a 70-point scale to determine the quality of a coin. The higher the grade, the more valuable it becomes. A flawless penny from 2005 graded MS67 or higher, can command prices far exceeding its face value. We're talking $500 to $1,000 or more. So, if you find a 2005 penny in near-perfect condition, you might want to get it professionally graded, because it could be worth a lot more than just pocket change. Now, let's talk numbers. You might be wondering, what's the highest amount a 2005 no mint mark penny has sold for? Well, recent auctions have seen some stunning prices for this coin. In fact, a 2005 Lincoln penny in pristine, mint state condition has sold for over $1,000 at auction. And remember, this is just for a single penny. The combination of rarity, errors, and condition can push the value of these coins to surprising heights. Who knows, you could have one of these valuable coins sitting in your pocket right now. Alright, so by now, you're probably wondering, how can I tell if my 2005 penny is worth a fortune? Here's a quick checklist. First, check for any errors, like a double die or off-center strike. You'll want to use a magnifying glass or loop to inspect the fine details. Next, check the condition. If the penny has minimal wear and tear, it could be worth getting graded by a professional service. Lastly, do a bit of research on recent auction prices for 2005 pennies in similar condition to yours. So, what if you discover you've got a valuable 2005 no mint mark penny? Selling it can be a great way to cash in. There are a few options for selling rare coins, coin dealers, auction houses, or online platforms like eBay. Make sure to get your coin authenticated and graded if possible, as this can significantly increase its value to potential buyers. Whether you sell it online or through a dealer, having that grade and certification can make all the difference. So there you have it. The 2005 no mint mark Lincoln penny, what seems like an ordinary coin could be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Whether it's an error, a high grade, or just plain luck, this coin is definitely one to keep an eye on. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for more coin treasure hunting tips. And let us know in the comments, have you found a 2005 penny that could be worth a fortune? We've got something truly exciting to talk about, the 1951 Lincoln penny without a mint mark that could be worth serious money. You might just have one of these rare pennies sitting in your pocket or coin jar without even knowing its true value. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how much a 1951 no mint mark Lincoln penny is worth and what makes it so special. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that button if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on more videos about valuable coins, hidden treasures, and coin collecting tips. Let's start with a little background. The 1951 Lincoln Penny is part of the famous Lincoln Wheat Cent series, which ran from 1909 to 1958. 
These coins feature the classic portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the front, or obverse, which was designed by Victor D. Brenner. On the back, you'll find the iconic wheat stalks, representing unity and prosperity, a design that coin collectors know and love. So, what's special about the 1951 penny without a mint mark? Well, first off, the lack of a mint mark tells us that this coin was minted in Philadelphia. Back then, coins made in Philadelphia didn't carry any mint mark, unlike coins made in Denver or San Francisco, which were stamped with D or S respectively. Now, let's get into the juicy part, why this particular penny could be worth a lot of money. There are a few key factors that determine the value of a 1951 no mint mark Lincoln penny, and we're going to break those down for you right now. The first factor is condition coin collectors use a grading system to determine the value of coins. The scale ranges from poor, P1, all the way up to mint state, MS70. A 1951 Lincoln penny that's in good condition, without much wear and tear, can sell for several dollars, but the ones that are in mint condition or uncirculated can go for much, much more. The second factor is rarity while millions of these pennies were made, finding one in pristine, untouched condition is incredibly rare. The better the condition, the higher the value. For example, if you have a 1951 penny that's in MS65 grade that means it's in near-perfect condition, you could be looking at a coin worth $50 to $100, depending on market demand. Some rare 1951 no-mint mark pennies in condition have even been sold for over $500 at auction. That's right, a single penny could fetch half a grand if it's preserved well enough. So, you're probably wondering, how do I know if my 1951 penny is worth anything? Well, you can evaluate the value of your penny by checking a few things. First, examine the of the coin. The more shine and reflectiveness, the better. A coin that retains its original mint luster is far more valuable. Next, check the quality. This means how well the details of the coin have been struck by the mints machines. Coins with crisp, sharp details in Lincoln's face, the lettering, and the wheat stalks will be worth more. Then, look for signs of any heavy scratches, dings, or damage will lower the value, but light wear might not impact it too much if the coin is still in good shape overall. Lastly, pay attention to the coins that have retained their original copper color, rather than turning dull or brown, will generally be worth more. One more thing to keep an eye out for is sometimes during the minting process, mistakes happen, and these error coins can be worth even more than regular ones. For example, a 1951 penny with a double die obverse, meaning the design on the front was struck twice, can be incredibly valuable. These rare error coins can go for thousands of dollars, so it's always worth checking your penny closely or having it appraised by an expert. Alright, so what is the current market value of the 1951 no mint mark Lincoln penny? Well, depending on the condition, these pennies can range anywhere from a few cents to $500 or more. Coins in lower grades might be valued at 10 to 50 cents, but coins in high grades like MS65 can fetch upwards of $100 to $500. And remember, if you happen to find a 1951 penny with an error, you could be holding a coin that's worth thousands of dollars. Some have even been sold for over $1,000 at auction. So, there you have it. The 1951 no mint mark Lincoln penny might just be worth more than you think. If you've got one in your collection, Check its condition and keep an eye out for any rare errors, you could be sitting on a small fortune. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more awesome content on rare and valuable coins, and let us know in the comments below if you've ever found a 1951 penny. We'd love to hear your stories. We're diving deep into one of the most surprising coins ever minted, the 1964 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny that could be worth a fortune. Now, when we talk about the 1964 D. Lincoln penny, we're not just talking about any old coin you might find in your piggy bank. This penny, with its D. Mint mark indicating it was minted in Denver, has a potential market value that could shock you, and yes, we're talking in the millions of dollars. Let's start with a bit of history. In 1964, the Denver Mint produced millions of Lincoln pennies. But what makes this particular coin so special? Well, during this time, the U.S. Mint was experimenting with materials and production techniques, leading to some fascinating errors and rarities that collectors absolutely love. Typically, the 1964 Lincoln penny was made of 95% copper and 5% zinc, but some of these coins were produced with defects or were struck on the wrong planchet, 
which drastically increases their value. Here are some of the key factors that can make a 1964 D penny worth millions. First, the condition of the coin a pristine, uncirculated penny that's been preserved over the decades is highly sought after. But even more important are rare errors, like the elusive double die or a misstrike on a different metal planchet. These are the kinds of coins that can fetch sky-high prices at auction. For example, if your 1964 D penny shows signs of being struck twice, a phenomenon known as a double die, or if it was mistakenly struck on a silver or aluminum planchet instead of copper, you could be holding a gold mine in your hands. Some of these error coins have sold for over $1 million at auction. Next, if you think you have a valuable 1964 D penny, the first thing you need to do is get it professionally graded. Organizations like PCGS or NGC will give your coin a grade based on its condition. The higher the grade, the more it could be worth. Just last year, a 1964 D penny with a mint error sold at auction for over $2 million. These coins are rare, but they're out there, which means you could potentially find one if you're lucky. Keep an eye on those pennies in your change. So, how do you know if your 1964 D penny is worth big bucks? First, grab a magnifying glass and check for any unusual features. Look for things like doubling in the lettering or any strange indentations. If you spot anything odd, it might be worth having it evaluated by an expert. To sum it up, the 1964 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny could be worth way more than just a cent. With the right combination of rarity, condition, and error, you could be sitting on a small fortune. So, next time you come across a 1964 penny, don't just toss it aside. Inspect it carefully because it could be the key to unlocking a huge payday. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on more valuable coin discoveries. And hey, if you think you have a rare 1964 D penny, drop a comment below and let us know. Who knows, you could be sitting on a million dollar coin. We're talking about one of the most intriguing pennies out there, the 1982 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny, a coin that has a market value in the thousands, sometimes even millions, of dollars. That's right, a simple penny you might have in your pocket or piggy bank could be worth a fortune. Before you go hunting through your change, let's break down exactly why this little penny has gained such value and what makes it so special. The 1982 Lincoln penny marks an important turning point in U.S. coinage history. For years, pennies were made primarily of copper. But due to the rising cost of copper, the U.S. Mint decided to change the composition of the penny midway through 1982. This means that 1982 pennies exist in two different forms, copper and zinc. But the 1982 D, minted in Denver, has a story that's even more complex. Earlier pennies were made of 95% copper, but after the switch, pennies were composed of 97.5% zinc with a thin copper coating. This change makes 1982 pennies unique because both copper and zinc varieties were minted during that year, and identifying which one you have can mean the difference between a regular penny and a valuable one. So, what makes the 1982 D penny so valuable? First, there's a rare error that has captivated collectors, some of these pennies were accidentally minted using the wrong metal. That's right, a few copper pennies slipped through when they were supposed to be zinc. In fact, in recent years, a few copper 1982 D pennies were discovered, and their value skyrocketed. Some have sold for tens of thousands, and one even reportedly went for over a million dollars at auction. The combination of this metal mix-up and the penny's scarcity is what drives up the price. Now, you might be wondering, how can I tell if my 1982 D penny is one of these valuable ones? The first step is weighing your penny. A copper penny weighs 3.11 grams, while a zinc penny weighs only 2.5 grams. This difference is crucial in identifying which one you have. You can use a basic coin scale, which you can find online or in hobby shops if your 1982 D penny weighs 3.11 grams, you might be holding onto one of the rare copper errors. But don't stop there, always double check with a professional coin appraiser, just to be sure. Getting your coin professionally graded by organizations like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, can significantly increase its market value if it's indeed one of the rare copper pennies. Now, let's talk money. How much are these rare 1982 D pennies selling for today? 
Well, that depends on the condition of the coin and whether it's one of those rare copper errors. Recently, a pristine, uncirculated 1982 D copper penny sold for over $10,000 at auction. And in one extraordinary case, a penny reportedly fetched over $1.5 million. The exact value can vary depending on the coin's condition, with higher prices for coins that are uncirculated or have a perfect mint state grade. Now, you're probably itching to go through your penny jar and see if you have one of these rare gems. Here are a few tips to help in your search. Start by looking for the 1982 D mint mark, which can be found just below the date on the penny. Weigh any 1982 D pennies you find, and check if they're copper or zinc using a coin scale. Inspect the coin's condition. Even if it's not the copper variety, a well-preserved 1982 D penny in mint condition can still fetch a nice price. Remember, even if you don't find a copper 1982 D penny, collecting coins is a rewarding hobby that can pay off in the long run. So, there you have it. The 1982 D Lincoln penny could be worth way more than its face value, especially if it's one of the rare copper errors. This just goes to show that sometimes, the smallest things can hold the biggest surprises. If you think you have one of these rare pennies, make sure to get it verified by an expert. Who knows? You might just be sitting on a small fortune. Thanks for tuning in, treasure hunters. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more coin collecting tips and rare coin discoveries. And let me know in the comments what's the most valuable coin you've ever found. We're diving into a penny you definitely want to know about, the 2001 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny could this little coin be worth millions of dollars? You're about to find out, this unassuming coin from the year 2001, minted in Denver, could be hiding some serious value. While most of these pennies are worth just a single cent, there are some very special variations that collectors are willing to pay big money for. So, let's break down why this particular penny could be worth far more than you ever imagined. First, let's take a quick look at the history behind the 2001 D. Lincoln penny. Like all Lincoln pennies, this coin features the familiar portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse, which was designed by Victor David Brenner and first minted way back in 1909 to celebrate Lincoln's 100th birthday. Over the years, Lincoln pennies have remained one of the most widely circulated coins in the United States, but not every penny is created equal. While the 2001 penny is relatively recent, there are some rare variations from this year that make it stand out. That brings us to the key question, what makes the 2001 D Lincoln penny potentially worth thousands or even millions of dollars, when it comes to coin value, rarity, errors, and condition are everything? While billions of pennies were minted in 2001, there are a few that are highly sought after by collectors. Here's why, the most valuable 2001 D pennies are those with minting errors. These errors can include things like off-center strikes, double dies, or even planchet errors where the penny is struck on a different metal than intended. If you have a 2001 D penny with one of these errors, you could be looking at a small fortune. Like most collectible coins, condition matters. The best examples of the 2001 D penny are those that have been preserved in mint condition. These coins are graded by professionals on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect coin. A 2001 D penny in mint state condition, graded MS67 or higher asterisk asterisk, can be extremely valuable, with some selling for thousands at auction.so. What exactly should you be looking for if you're hoping to strike gold with your 2001 D penny? Here are the key things, minting errors. Check for any signs of doubling in the lettering or Lincoln's profile. A double die error can multiply the value of your penny. Off center strikes. If the design is shifted off center, this is a highly desirable error. Die cracks or cuds, these are raised, irregular lines caused by cracks in the die. If your penny has one, it could be valuable, unusual planchet. Sometimes pennies are accidentally struck on foreign planchets, which are the metal discs used to make coins. These are incredibly rare and can fetch a huge price, now, let's talk money. How much could your 2001 D penny be worth if it has one of these rare features? Some of the highest graded 2001 D pennies have sold for $2,000 to $5,000 at auctions. That's a serious payday for a coin that's barely 20 years old, rare errors, if you're lucky enough to have a penny with a major error like a double die or off-center strike, you could be looking at tens of thousands of dollars. 
In fact, some error pennies have sold for well over $100,000, top ranked auction sales, although rare, certain extremely well preserved and error stricken pennies from modern years like 2001 can fetch even higher sums. There's potential for a six figure sale if the right combination of rarity, error, and condition aligns, alright, so you think you might have a valuable 2001 D Lincoln penny. Now what? The first step is to get your coin graded by a professional service, like PCGS or NGC. They'll give your penny an official grade and certify any errors, which is crucial if you want to sell it for top dollar. Once your coin is graded, you can sell it through a reputable auction house, or even on websites like eBay where collectors are always looking for rare coins. The key is to make sure you get a fair price, so do your research and find a platform that works best for you. So there you have it, folks. That little 2001 D Lincoln penny in your pocket could be worth thousands, or maybe even millions, if you've got the right one. Be sure to check your change, and if you think you've struck it rich, get that penny graded ASAP. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more coin tips and rare finds. Who knows, your next penny could be the key to a small fortune. We're going to talk about a penny that could be sitting in your pocket right now, the 2020 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny. Could this small coin hold a surprisingly high market value? Stay tuned, because you don't want to miss out on this one. You heard that right. A 2020 Lincoln penny from the Denver Mint, it's not just a regular penny. Depending on its condition, this coin could be worth more than you think. So, let's jump into the details and see how much this modern penny could be worth. First, let's talk a bit about the 2020 D Lincoln penny. The D Mint mark means it was produced at the Denver Mint, one of the key mints in the United States. The 2020 penny continues the long standing tradition of featuring Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side, a design that started way back in 1909, celebrating the 100th anniversary of Lincoln's birth. On the reverse side, we still see the Union shield, symbolizing the strength and unity of the nation. This design has been on the penny since 2010. But what makes the 2020 penny special? Let's dive into that now. So, how much is a 2020 D Lincoln penny worth? Well, for starters, most 2020 D pennies are worth just a face value of one cent if they're in circulation. However, the value can change depending on factors like the coin's condition, errors, or unique features, meaning it's never been used in everyday transactions and looks as pristine as the day it was minted. If your 2020 D penny is in MS65 or higher, the value can jump to about. But that's not all. Some rare error coins could be worth even more. Let's talk about those. Errors are what coin collectors really love. The 2020 D Lincoln penny has been known to come with a few interesting minting errors. These errors can make the value skyrocket. Let's break down some of the most sought after errors. First, you have the die cracks this happens when there's a crack in the die used to strike the coin, resulting in a jagged, raised line on the penny. These errors can bring in $10 to depending on how noticeable the crack is. Then, there's the off-center strike. If the penny is struck off-center during minting, part of the design will be missing. This error can increase the value to over $1.50 or more depending on how dramatic the off-centering is. Lastly, one of the most exciting errors is where parts of the coin's design are struck twice, creating a doubling effect. Depending on the severity of the doubling, these coins can be worth upwards of $100 to $500. Now that you know what to look for, let's talk about how you can identify a valuable 2020 D penny. If you have some pocket change lying around, grab it. First, you'll want to inspect your coin closely using a magnifying glass or a coin loop. Check for any mint errors like cracks, doubling, or off-center strikes. Pay close attention to the coin's condition. If your penny looks brand new, with no scratches or wear, you may have an uncirculated coin. Those can fetch higher prices in the collector's market. And if you think your 2020 D penny might be worth something, it's a good idea to get it graded by a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. A certified grade can significantly increase the coin's value. So, where can you sell your valuable 2020 D pennies? Well, there are plenty of options. You can start with online marketplaces like eBay, where collectors are always on the hunt for rare and high-grade coins. 
You can also visit coin dealers or attend coin shows where experts will be more than happy to take a look at your coin. Make sure to do your research, and if your coin has an error or is in great condition, consider getting it professionally graded. This could maximize your profits when you go to sell it. So, there you have it. The 2020 D. Lincoln penny might seem like just another coin, but with the right conditions or minting errors, it could be worth far more than just a cent. Make sure you check your pocket change carefully, because you never know when you might stumble upon a hidden gem. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to and hit that for more content about valuable coins. If you have any questions or stories about rare pennies you found, leave them in the comments below.